overwhelmed staff in mental health hospitals across Texas are getting a little relief thanks to programs that are helping people looking to integrate back into the community. Now, according to a new article in the Texas Tribune, thousands of people are discharged from state mental health hospitals each year, but step down programs like clubhouses are helping make that journey a little easier after people are released. Texas Tribune reporter Stephen Simpson is joining us this afternoon to discuss. Stephen, thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. Okay, first give us a little context regarding these clubhouses and step down programs, which have really been around for a while. So pretty much the goal of these step step down programs are to kind of ensure when someone leaves a mental health health hospital, they're able to reintegrate back into society. And that can be accomplished in various ways, either helping them find a place to stay, giving them job training, or like clubhouses kind of surround them with like minded individuals to kind of give them the social skills they might lack after being in the hospital for so long. Okay, you start your article with a really fascinating story. It chronicles the journey of an Austin man who cycled through mental health hospitals as well as 12-step programs, and he said none of that really helped him. There's his picture right there with his substance use disorders as well as treating his bipolar. But how did a local program that was here in Austin really help him navigate uh, this journey? So the Austin Clubhouse program pretty much gave him a sense of structure. He runs a snack bar there, and so he knew every day he had some place he needed to go to kind of do a task, but doesn't have the pressures of like a normal nine to five job. It's He's always kind of surrounded by other people like him. So if he's having a bad day, somebody, either the staff or our fellow members will notice. Okay, and the state established the Texas State Hospital Step Down Program. Has that been effective? Uh, it's kind of hard to say because the Texas State Hospital Step Down Program has a residential component attached to it. And so they've really only had like 15 beds available. But the success rate has been pretty good for those beds that are available. It's almost 75% if you go through the program. But it's just they don't have enough space to address all the mental health needs in Texas. And speaking of capacity, we know that there are also privately run step down programs and clubhouses, including right here in Austin. Do those have the capacity? How are their resources and what are you hearing from them? Well, from pretty much what I've been told, they have the capacity because one, most of them don't have a residential component. They're more like community centers. So there's a place for them to go and have programs or gardening or things like that. But also a lot of people just don't know they exist. And so that seems to be the main issue. They have needs of actually more people to start showing up. Okay, Stephen Simpson from the Texas Tribune. As always, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. Coming up, some lawmakers on Capitol Hill are calling for a new staffing rule in nursing homes to take effect, but others are trying to stop it, saying it will make things even worse. Washington correspondent Maddie Beer Temple reports now on the renewed push for keeping the rule in place. We're overworking under. 